their suffering doesn't bring fulfillment. Here's a quote from Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. The optimal state of inner experience is one in which there is order in consciousness. This happens when psychic energy or attention is invested in realistic goals and when skills match the opportunities for action. The pursuit of a goal brings order and awareness because a person must concentrate attention on the task at hand and momentarily forget everything else. So we need to talk about how to focus your attention to reverse psychic entropy or disorder in the mind, but we also have to understand how identity or personality comes into play here. You don't need motivation or discipline when you are the person who would take certain actions. A bodybuilder doesn't need motivation to eat healthy. A gamer doesn't need discipline to stare at a screen all day. A writer doesn't need motivation to synthesize ideas. An employee doesn't need discipline to show up to work. All of those could be perceived as positive or negative by a specific type of person. A gamer that stares at a screen all day, that could be considered very bad if you aren't actually in the pursuit of goals that you chose for yourself. And you have to understand bringing back the idea that your goals are the axis of your suffering, where if you want to be, let's say, a professional gamer, there's nothing wrong with that. But you have to accept the potential decline in health that will come from that, and that is subtracting from other areas of your life so that you can succeed in another area of your life. The same thing goes for like a bodybuilder as the first example, where eating healthy isn't hard or they don't need motivation or discipline to do it, but it could subtract from other areas of their life, like having a social life, going out, letting loose a bit, 